Hello, welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. And um, yeah, sorry for a slight indiscretion yesterday. Um, I'm not referring to myself wearing a top hat as I went to Ascot. Thank you very much, Alistair. I'm referring to, uh, and that was in the Wordle in a minute, I wore the top hat, not on the Sudoku video, which I posted at the wrong time of the day and we had to take it down and put it up again later. Sorry about that, entirely my error. Um, you will point out I make plenty of errors in Sudoku videos, but that was just today's version of, or yesterday's version of an error. Um, today, I am going to be looking at a puzzle called Region, well, Region Sam Krupke by Migu. Um, it's a Krupke Doot puzzle, and we've done one like this before, but it was good fun. So I'm certainly prepared to give this an and go, especially as it was recommended by our friend Glum Hippo. Now, I am also going to give a shout out to Alex, who uh, who I met the other night, who spotted me in a small audience and uh, came to say hello and introduce his wife, Tatiana. It was great to see you, Alex. Thank you. Um, and uh, adds to my very few being noticed while out. Um, now... Don't forget to check our Patreon. We'll have some new content of some sort on um, the 1st of July. The monthly reward will go up then. Um, and in the meantime, there's all our apps, which include Domino apps, which have regular crop key, but they don't have croup key. So we'll enjoy explaining this one today. But there's also Sven Sudoku pad in our merchandise. Check out the links. Um, and yeah. I think uh, somebody did have one problem with the merchandise lately, but they've got it sorted out now and the merch they requested is on its way, it sounds like. Um, so I hope that does transpire. Um, now, what's going on here? Let's have a look at this puzzle. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So we'll be putting one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Now the crop key, the normal crop key rules, look at the dots. Digits separated by a white crop key dot must be consecutive. So you could have two and three there. Digits separated by a black crop key dot must have a ratio of one to two. So you could have four and eight in those cells. Not all crop key dots necessarily given. Now, croup key, sets of digits separated by a white croup key doot, the long ellipse looking thing, must have their respective sums be, oops, sorry, that's not what I'm trying to do, must have their respective sums being consecutive. So the sum of the yellow cells will be one away from the sum of the purple cells here. That's what that white doot means. Um, and those two will have a sum that's one away from those two. And as you will expect now, sums, sets of digits separated by a black croupky doot must have their respective sums be in a one to two ratio. So these might add up to, I don't know, 14, and those might add up to seven, say. Um, not all Krupke doots are necessarily given. I don't even know how you'd check as a setter whether all Krupke doots were necessarily given. And you might have overlapping ones that you were meant to give if you were trying to do a negative constraint. Um, but anyway, we are told they're not all necessarily given. Uh, now, the blue lines are different, obviously. Digits along a blue line sum to the same total within each box that the line visits. So those two cells sum up to the same as those three cells. And then we can see from the white crop key dot that the purple cells have a sum one away from the orange cells. So there's obviously going to be some linkage and interplay between the Kropke dots and doots in this puzzle, or certainly between the types of doots. Um, I think it's a fascinating idea. Thank you, Glum Hippo, for recommending it. Thank you, Migu, for creating it. And uh, do give the puzzle a try on the link under the video. You may be able to judge from the video length how difficult I will have found it. He uses the future perfect tense um, in a rare outing. And I am now going to restart my clock and say, let's get cracking. And what can we crack on with here? There's a lot of lines and dots and things. I think we can forget the crop key dots till much later. I'm not saying we can forget the dudes. Ah, we've got... Um, we've got similar patterns in boxes. 
Oh, this is weird, actually. Okay, we've got two pairs of cells here. Let's just, I'll just color them so I can talk about them. I mean, yeah, this, this is, this is quite an interesting string of stuff, actually. So we've gone very rainbow here. But the yellow dots, oh, the, the, sorry, the, the sum of the yellow cells is either half or double the sum of the red cells. But if you add yellow and red together because of the blue line, you get the sum of the green cells. Now, the sum of the green cells is one away from the sum of the purple cells, which is the same as the orange cells, which is half or double the sum of the blue cells. And that's really, really weird. And I don't know how it helps. I suppose, okay, these sums are a bit limited. You couldn't have three and six. Ah, okay, the green cells are gonna be divisible by nine. The total of green is gonna be divisible, sorry, it's gonna be divisible by three. Because of this two to one ratio between yellow and red, I'm just looking at this pair of cells as well. Now, you, yeah, I've been sucked into this before on these puzzles. You don't want to start believing that this is an ascending sequence. If you had two black dots in a row, say these cells were joined by black dots, you'd know it was an ascending or descending sequence. Now, that doesn't have to apply with these dudes, and that's what I'm trying to warn you against. Because, or warn myself against, to be honest, because grey could be the same as the red sum. As long as yellow was then either double or half that sum, that's fine. And that's, that's the point. So, these don't have to be... Anyway, I was, I was going to calculate what yellow and red could add up to, and basically... It can't be, okay, they have to be divisible by three, the total of yellow and red. Okay, so I'm wondering what green adds up to. And it's not nine. Although green could sum to nine, yellow and red is four cells that, can't, that have to be different from each other. They can't sum to nine. They have to be a minimum of 10. So green could be 12 or 15, I reckon, easily. Now, could it be 18? And I think the answer is probably yes. You'd have to have 17 or 19 in purple. Ah, and orange. And that's an odd number, 17 or 19. There's a knowledge bomb from Cracking the Cryptic. Both 17 and 19 are odd numbers. Why I'm getting excited about that is because it means blue can't be half of them and must be double them. And if you had 17 or 19 here and doubled it in blue, you'd be well over 45, which is a mystic number. And I'm going to share a secret with you now that I only tell my closest friends. Um, so keep it under your hat. But every row, column and box in a Sudoku adds up to 45. It's true in every Sudoku that obeys normal rules. And that's because they all have to contain 1 to 9. 1 to 9 always adds up to 45. Now, that is a problem if purple was 17 or 19, because by the blue line rule, orange would be the same. And then this would have to be double it by the black line rule, and you'd have exploded through 45. You'd have far too many, um, too much sum in this box to keep it down to 45. So that is, now, what is that telling me? That's telling me green's not 18. So I think we've got green down to 12 or 15 only. And I think that's interesting. I think I'm right. Let me hang on, though. Let me just check. What if green was 21? I haven't gone high enough, maybe, because now purple can be 20. And that is an even number or 22. And suddenly this thing is fine because blue can be. Oh, bother. Blue can be half of 20. 20, 30, and then that's a very simple 15, or 22 and 11, and that's a very simple 12. Wow, okay, I hadn't got this done at all. So that's really weird, that green can't be 18. It has to be divisible by three. It can be 12, it can be 15, it can't be 18, it can be 21. 
I'm just going to write those totals down as a bit of an aid memoir to myself for now. Sorry, these are not, this is just an aid memoir. This is not me filling in digits as candidates. I'm just working out what green can be. I don't think it can be 24 because we're going to have the same problem with purple having to be an odd number. In fact, specifically 23. And in fact, that's already exploded. If you had 24 there, that would be 987. Then you couldn't put 23 here, which would be 986. So that's just Sudoku doing that. So these are the three totals for green, 12, 15, or 21. Now, what? Ah, what's that doing over here? Oh, I see, I, I ignored this white doot. I thought that was clearly less interesting than a black doot. A black crocky dot is almost always more powerful than a white, except in certain circumstances. And I think I've now found the circumstances where a two-cell white doot is more important than a black doot. And it's because of this parity thing that we've just been doing here with... It, I was getting excited when purple was odd. And I can do that all over again here because, right, the sum of these digits, let's um, make them gray. I'm gonna get rid of those grays because they weren't, I was just pointing out that they could be the same as red. Anyway, grays here have to have an odd sum. Now, how do I know that? I know that because these two add up to a number, let's call it x, and these two add up to either x plus 1 or x minus 1. And another way of characterizing that algebraically is 2x plus 1 or 2x minus 1 as the total of grey. And I know that 2x plus 1 and 2y sorry, and 2x minus 1 are both odd. That's a bit less of a knowledge bomb. That's actually quite exciting. Anyway, they are odd. This total must be odd. This total, let's make it purple again. It's not necessarily the same as that purple, but I don't have enough colours. This purple is odd because of this white doot here. Oh, excuse me for a second. Sorry about that. Let's hope we've remembered to edit that call out. Right, we know that grey is odd. That's what I was coming to. So, purple is odd. Now... The thing I was getting excited about, and I hope I was right to be getting excited about it, is that let's make this green again. This green has to be double purple because it can't be half an odd number because we don't have non-integers in our Sudokus. That's not a challenge, setters. It's just stuff. Right, so green is half purple. No, I, I did it, I did it. Green is double purple. So, the minimum for this is 11, I reckon. One, two, three, five. Four different digits have to add up to at least 10, but they're odd, so 11. 11 plus 22 is 33. That leaves 12 here, and also 22 is almost the highest we could be here. And indeed, it is the highest we could be when doubling an odd number, because if we got up to 24, we'd be doubling an even number, and purple is not even because gray is not even, so we've got it. Grey adds up to 11 and is 1, 2, 3, 5. In fact, given the white doot, one of these pairs is a 5, 1 pair and one of them is a 2, 3 pair because the pairs now have to add to 6 and 5. This set adds up to 11 as well. And this set adds up to 22. I, uh, this is a bit silly, but I'm, I may not be able to progress this at the moment. So... I'm going to leave those totals in. Actually, this group of cells, which don't deserve a colour because we haven't really considered them before, but by the, by the magic of 45, subtract 22 and 11, and they must add up to 12. Um, so that group adds up to 12. This one to 11, that one to 22. Now, has this done anything in row 8? Yes, it probably has. If green was 21 here... Now... The minimum purple could be is 20. Oh, why did I ever allow this possibility? Is this right? I actually wrote down that 21 could be this total. Oh, because all I did with the 20 was then 
divide it by 10 and say that was possible. What I should have done is taken the 20, added a 20 there, and said three cells at the end can't add up to five. And if you use 22, it's even more problematic. 21 was never a possibility. 12 and 15 are the only possibilities for green. And now, even 15 is getting a little interesting, isn't it? These cells are from 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, because they're not 1, 2, 3, 5 in the box. Now, if green was 15, purple is 14 or 16. 16 and 16 is 32. Then these cells would have to add to 13. Okay, that is possible. Ah, it may be 12 that's not possible now. Right. Now the most that purple can add up to. Oh, that's very interesting, yeah. If these added up to 12, so green was 12, these purple cells, the most they could add up to is 13. Well, let's start with the, with the lower end of 12. If that was 12 consecutive to purple, purple could be 11, but 11 plus 11 is 22. That leaves 23 here, which has to be 986. You cannot put 986 in those cells. Now let's go a little higher. 12 plus one is 13. 13 plus 13 is 26. Can we make these add up to 19? And the answer is no. The maximum is nine plus three plus five, which is 17. So 12 has gone. We now know that these greens over here do add up to 15. Uh, do we know whether purples add up to 16 or 14? Can they add up to 14? I have a feeling because 5, 3 wasn't an option here, really. 14, the answer may be no. 14 plus 14 is 28. Can these add up to 17? And that was where we had 9 and 3, 5. That was the only way you could get these candidate numbers to make up 17. But 3, 5 is not one side of this dupe. We worked out before. It's either 5, 1 or 2, 3. So no, this lot is not... 14. It is 16, and it's quite constrained. Oh, uh, it's that cell, 16. So orange is 16 as well. Now, I think we probably worked out that blue was going to be half of that. Yeah, if you double that, you're over 45 for the box already. So blue's total is 8. It has a 1 in it. Uh, 1632, these add up to 13 to make up our 45 total for row 8. Now this pair either adds up to 6 or 5. So this is either a 7 or an 8 at the end of all that. And what can we... Do? I'm wondering if we can do actual numbers now. I haven't done any numbers in this Sudoku. Well, apart from maybe that 1, 2, 3, 5 quad. Yes, 16 and 8. No, no, I'm going to carry on doing totals. That's 24. This group of cells adds up to 21. Done it wrong again. 21. Um, I'm going to probably have to abandon this numbering system soon because I'm going to start wanting to do Sudoku digits. Oh, 21 plus 15 is 36. That leaves 9 in this group of cells. And given that four is the lowest number we can put here, that's what we are going to put here. This is the pair that adds up to five, the two, three pair. This is the pair that adds up to six on this white dupe, the one, five pair. And now we know what this is, except I have to work it out again. 32 plus six is 38. That's a seven. There we go. And we get six, eight, nine down here. That doesn't inform how this eight is made up. This group of cells... 45 minus 15 and 16, it leaves 14 here. Okay. Um, 14 and 23 and 8. I could have done that by subtracting 23 and 8 from 45. Okay. Can we do any more numbers? Now, 5 and 10 in yellow and red. But... I'm putting this back as grey. If that's 5, grey has to be 10 and red has to be 10. And this lot add up to 20. Which is quite feasible. If that's 5... Ah, okay. If that's 5 and yellow is 10, 
Gray can't be five, because gray and red would use up the digits one, two, three, four, not leaving any over for yellow, which adds up to 10. That's not possible. So if that's five and that's 10, this would have to be 20. <laughs> 20 is not possible in two Sudoku cells, because they would both average 10. Right, bingo. So the yellow pair is not adding up to 10. That's weird. That's right, though. The yellow pair adds, has, a, has, a, has a sum of 5. This pair has a sum of 10. Trouble is, there are lots of candidates here, of course. 1, 2, 3, and 4 there. One of them gets used here. Oh, but this now definitely adds up to 10. That, ah, oh, okay, that is worth noting. So, 25, this group of cells adds up to 20. Let's hope I can remember what these pencil marks are doing shortly, because if I can't, this is going to really weird. It's down in this box is the only box where I seem to be actually using Sudoku digits. Um, oh, and... There must be only one way each to make up these 16s now, I reckon. 7, 5, 1 have been used up on this side. One of these 16s, orange or purple, is going to have a 9 in it. The other is going to have an 8. They can't both have them because that comes to more than 16. Oh, sorry, they can't be in the same area. So one of them has a 9 and two other cells that add to 7 without using 1 or 5. So one of these pairs is 9, 4, 3 and the other is 8, 6, 2. Oh, sorry about this. Hello. Well, unfortunately, today is a day of interruptions and they may not be over yet. And I'm afraid there's just nothing I can do about it. But I do want to finish this puzzle because I'm enjoying it quite a lot. Now, where did we get to? We were considering these 16s and 15s and 14s. I don't think if the dots are doing it. This is an 8, so it's either 1, 2, 5, or 1, 3, 4. If it was 1, 2, 5, 1 and 5 would be in this green set with a 9. If it was 1, 3, 4, 3 and 4 would be in this purple set with a 9, I think. And that tells me the back end of nothing. Ah, this is, look, the pencil marking's helpful. 22 in these greens, and they can't include a 7. They must be 9, 5, 8. There's two ways of making up 22 in three different cells, 9, 5, 8, and 9, 6, 7. And without the 7, we know which it is. That's 6 in the corner. Um, now, has that done anything? Probably not. Ah, I'll tell you what, green and purple here include 6, 8, and 9, and they add up to 31. Well, actually, they include the three blue digits that add up to 8 as well. Yeah, so this can't be 9, 4, 3, can it, anymore? Because 4 and... Hang on. If this was 9, 4, 3... Oh, it could be. This would be 8, 6, 1. Ah, and I have to go again. Sorry. Hello, hello. Right. Finally, the longest and last interruption is done. There won't be another one. And now I can try and remember where I was. Um, I don't remember what I was looking at last time. This added up to 11. This to 12. 11's quite interesting. Well, it's, oh, 589. I must have just written those in. Oh, look, I get to put 1, 2, 3 here, and then the white dot's helpful. 3 must be joined to 4 on the white dot, because none of 1, 2, 3 can join to each other. Now I can add up this area based on my rule of 45. 45 minus those 6 is 39, so the numbers adjoining are 19 and 20. And one of them's got a 4 in. Um, if it was 20, it would have to be 497. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. Oh, if it was 20, it would have to be 497. If it was 19, well, it couldn't have a 5 in. 
So five must be in one of these cells, and then that's not a five, that's a one. That's a five. Now, this group that adds up to 12 has a four in and not a one or a five. So it must be four, two, six. Gotta be. I think that's must, that must be right. And this group is one, three, seven. And that has fixed the two, three pair down here. Oddly, it hasn't fixed the eight, nine pair, but now these are selected from six, eight, and nine. So they're not nine and seven making 20. So they must add up to 19 and they must be six and nine. So that does fix the eight, nine at the bottom. That's gonna give us a five, seven, eight triple at the top, which does add up to 20. Right, now this black dot well, doesn't have a seven on it. And interestingly, it doesn't have a four on it now. Ah, now this pair adds up to five, which I weirdly wrote into both cells by mistake. Ah, that means this can't be a one, two black dot because then you couldn't make up five. So that's a three, six. This is a one, four pair now. These that add up to 10, the low digits they use must be two and three. So that's a two, three, seven, eight quad. And this group of cells that add up to 20 is a five, six, nine. That one's not six, obviously. No, those also aren't six and those aren't three. Now, I haven't, I mean, I had a glance at this earlier. I didn't really appreciate what it meant, I think, this sort of question mark shaped equal sum line. Um, right, obviously those three have a one to two relationship as a total with those three. These must add up to the higher number because if those added up to the higher number, the equal sum line would be broken by this cell. So those are the higher number. This is half of that. So let's give them some colors. Yellow is half of blue here. Oh, so this cell must be equivalent to yellow as well. It's like an arrow. Oh, of course, right. So this is seven, eight or nine. These can't add up to seven because they would be one, two, four and break that cell. Uh, do they add up to eight? I've got a five, eight, nine triple in the row. So that's a two, seven. Now, these don't have a two in now. So if that's an eight, it's one, three, four. And if it's a nine, it's one, three, five. Right, one and three are in these, along with four or five, and they might determine some stuff. So seven and one is determined. This becomes not a three, seven pair, but a two, eight pair. That makes this a four, and that is gonna take four out of these cells. They are now a one, three, five collection, adding up to nine on this ersatz arrow. These add up to 18 now. I'm actually still going to keep persist with my weird marking system. Uh, this is a four, six, eight triple. These are not a two, eight pair. They're a three, seven pair. There we go. Um, and five and nine are on the outsides. In this row, the outsides are done. Five and eight. Oh, if I'm in the right mode, they're done. Now this is a nine and that's a five. This is a nine. I feel like I've entered too many nines. But no, it looks right. Now, these add up to 16. So these add up to 15 or 17. Ooh, if it was 17, that would definitely be a 9-8 pair. And it's at least 15. So they're from 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, and, oh, these add up to 18. And these to 15 or 17. So we're up to 33 or 35 then these add up to 10 or 12. Oh, well, they've got a minimum of 12 from 165. Okay, 165, 12, now I have to do the maths again, 30. These add up to 15 now. 
So that adds up to 15, which is not quite the way I wanted that to go. Ah, oh, but that has just helped. They're not a 7-8 pair, and they do add up to 15. They're a 6-9 pair. So now in this row, 9 must be on in this box in one of those cells, adding up to 15 with a 2 and a 4. I think that has to be right. Yeah. So this is a 387 triple adding up to 18. That maths works. Then we've got 1, 2, 4, and 5 to place up here. Can we use the black doot up at the top here? Hmm. Well, the 6 must go with a 4 or a 5. The 9... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that yet. We'll get back to that. This has become a nine and a two in the corner. Um, now, where else have I suddenly... Bre oh, what are these? These either add up to six, eleven, or thirteen, given these three constituent digits. Well, it can't be eleven or thirteen, because that would make this pair add up to twenty-two or twenty-six. So this is a two-four pair adding up to six. This can't be half of that total, or we'd be repeating two in the box. So it's twice that total. It adds up to 12 without using a three or a four. I know what that is. That is a five, seven pair. And this is one or two, but in the box it can't be two. So one, four, five across the top, three, six, eight, the rest of the top row. That one has sorted out yellow here. Oh, I never really got round to these f totals that I'd worked out earlier. That's strange. I mean, we'll come back to that in a moment. Ah, oh, seven and five are done there. Now, we've done this black dupe. We've done this white dupe. What about this white one? Seven plus eight would be far too high. Seven plus six would actually be too high except for five to exactly match it, which isn't going to happen. So this... Oh, the simpler way of doing that is if those are the same parity, these must be different parity. One of them must be a three, and that can't go with the five. It must go with the seven. And that is three in the corner. Losing its religion. Now, this must be a six to make that white do work. Eleven against ten. I probably can tell what this is now. The nine must go with a one. And the six must go with a five. No, 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 no. It's not a white doot. It's a black doot. Oh, that's very different. So it's going to be six and one on one side and nine and five on the other. Seven and 14. Isn't that what I speculated this might be at the beginning? Weird. Um, so there's no four there. The four in the box is here. And that might help as we look down the grid. Because I'm not getting much column distinction down here. Ah, 2, 8. Can't do that. Right, let's do some Sudoku. Mark in the candidates and see if something pops out of that. Ooh, 7 or 9 there. Oh, I've got a white dot to deal with as well here. That might be interesting. See what candidates it ends up with. No. Oh. Well... Okay, well, we've limited it down. There's no 8 or 6 on it. S is there not a 6? No, there isn't a 6 on it, obviously. So 9 and 7 are out of the equation. 3 is definitely on that white dot, and that's going to fix red. And that fixes that cell, and it doesn't fix this one. Right, but this lot had to add up to 15, and we've got a 9 in it. So that's a 1, and that's a 5. This lot has to add up to 16. I feel like we're going to have to use the 8. I've got a 6-7 pair to write in here. So what shall I do? Shall I do that and memorize these totals? Yes. 6-7. I need to make these add up to 7. That must be 3-4. Then this has become 2 here, 8 here. And that adds up to 16, which is what it needed to. Right, so I can get rid of these pencil marks as well. Six, seven, eight, triple there. Three, four, nine, triple in orange. Don't really need any of the colours in the grid at all anymore, I don't think, but 
they're not doing anybody any harm. Now, this black dot can't have a 9 on it or a 7. Still two possibilities. What about this? 9 there, those must add up to 10. That can't be an 8. This can't be an 8. That can't be a 2. This can't be a 4. 4, 2, 9, 8. And that can't be a 9 either, so that's 3. Right, that's really helpful. 8 there. Feel like we're in cleanup mode a bit now. What a good puzzle. I really like this. Philip is excellent at knowing what I like and recommending that sort of thing. Um, and Migu is clearly very Migu. I hadn't even noticed the similarity to my sometime crossword pseudonym, Mr. Migu. I'm assuming Migu is short for Miguel, but I don't know. I don't know anything about the author of this puzzle, except that they're very good. Um, now, I still have to sort out these pairs. Oh, I've got this to do, yes. So it's six and one on that side, nine and five on that side, right. That is going to help, he predicted rashly. That's not a one, that's not a five. Uh, it didn't help as much as I expected. I'm missing something still. What I'm, I've used all the clues, though, in these central columns. So I'm missing Sudoku. Yes, there. Three is looking up the grid at a 3-7 pair. That was what I was missing. Bit of good old-fashioned scanning. If I was a stormtrooper, everybody would get past me immediately. As they do past real stormtroopers. Can you have real stormtroopers? Maybe not. There we go. <laughs> okay, you can ignore my time, which involved a number of interruptions there. Um, I, in fact, I'll be fascinated to learn when I've edited this video what my actual time was. Feels like about half an hour or a bit less. Might be right, might be wrong. Thank you anyway for sticking with me and for watching it. And uh, thanks to Migu and to Philip. I will see you anon tomorrow perhaps. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.